What's up boys? Today I'm going to show you how to root F7 Edge and an Exynos processor. This method only works on Exynos processor so make sure you've got a right model of an Exynos processor. So let's check start if it's a root rooted. So I'll check by the root checker. It's a basic root checker you can download from Play Store. So well let's see, let's go to device name model number as you can see my model number is G SMG so tap on build number five times just to enable the developer option as soon as you enable they go back a step and you will see developer options on you turn up page then unlock that OEM number just unlock the thing it's really important let's turn off your device now you're almost done, just turn it off. Turn off your device by pressing the power button. Turn it off. And again, to start it, press the volume down, power button, and the home screen. Again, it's volume down, power button, and the home screen button. Hold it, and you'll see the blue screen. To continue after this, you need to press the volume up key, that you continue to the boot, in, that boot mode. Now you connect it to your PC or computer or whatever you're using. Make sure you download the right file. You can get all the files then CF auto root like the loads of so make sure you have Odin installed already in your phone. On on your laptop, I mean and as an administrator, you'll see this blue screen. That means your softwares that your Samsung drivers are good good to go otherwise you have to download the Samsung drivers at the same time as well now you have to put the file the one you downloaded in the AP folder make sure you click that AP folder and put your file in it and that's a it says reset as soon as you click it and you install it now it's just resell reset itself unplug the USB the boot and so go on main page. Simple as that guys. It's not taking any long. Unlock your phone and go to the root checker again. You can simply just go to you can, you'll get the super SU permissions. So that means you got a root installed. Now you can check your phone with that and uh, ask for permission. So basic root checker same again and it's rooted now. Simple as that. Only takes like one minute but make sure you get a right file for your phone, whatever your phone number or your device number is, make sure you get this right every time. Otherwise, you can break your phone. Or anyway, have a safe one and good luck if you want to try it.